I'm a very smart person. You can tell by my suit and eyewear. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you the characteristics of the following music genres. Rock, metal, jazz, classical, neo, soul, country, and pop. Assisting me with this task will be my lovely assistant, Honest Brandon. Hi, I'm Honest Brandon. Honest Brandon, you always seem so pissed off, but you're not even mad. Why don't you give our live studio audience a smile? I would love to. <laughs> Let's break down how this video is gonna work. First, it's gonna start with me self-promoting my own shit. Next, we'll analyze the characteristics of each genre. We'll look at traits of the fan communities and how to be cool and hang with them. I'll give you some up and coming names for each genre to check out. And lastly, Honest Brandon will give us a demo of each using his fucking guitar. This is my fucking guitar. And make sure you watch this video to the end for the best genre. If you don't watch till the end, I'll be canceling Christmas. Our first genre that we'll be covering is known as rock. What are the characteristics of rock, you ask? A typical rock ensemble consists of drums, bass, two guitars and a lead singer, with one of the guitarists being slightly better than the other. It's very important that the dominant guitar player be labeled lead, so everyone knows. Encourage him to tell people that he's specifically the lead guitarist and not the rhythm. Otherwise, how are people gonna know he's better? The song structure of rock songs typically follows this format. Intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, guitar solo, bridge, chorus, and outro. The lyrics usually feature wanting to rock in one night stands. If you're a rock fan and wanna fit in better with the community, here's what you need to do. Make sure you're an older male. Middle-aged is the best range. Make sure you play guitar yourself, but don't go beyond an intermediate level of playing. Beer is very popular among rock fans. And be very vocal about your distaste for other genres like pop, country, and rap. If you'd like to check out some up and coming names in the rock industry, consider checking out groups like Led Zebra, ABCD, The Rolling Stops, and Guns and Tulips. Honest Brandon, why don't you give us a demo? subscribe to my channel. The next genre we'll be covering is metal. There's a lot of birds outside, holy. What are the characteristics of metal, you ask? What a stupid question. A typical metal ensemble consists of the same instruments as a rock ensemble, but the overall level of talent is higher, with the exception of the singer. The structure of metal songs typically follows this format. Intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, breakdown, guitar solo, interlude, chorus, and outro. If you're writing lyrics for a metal band, Consider singing about things like war and mythical creatures. If you're a metal fan and want to fit in better with the community, here's what you need to do. Have a beard and own guitars that look like this. Having long hair is very important as well. Be vocal about your opinions about how blues and rock are too easy. Make sure to rip on pop music for being too formulaic, despite the fact that your genre tends to follow a similar compositional structure. Consistently point out how much harder metal is than jazz, and the more tattoos you have, the better. If you'd like to check out some up and coming names in the metal industry, Consider listening to bands like Metallica, Iron Made in China, Avenged Seven Holes, and Black Sabbath. Hit us with a demo, Honest Brandon. I would love to! If you knew what solo that was, prove it by leaving a comment that I won't read. The next genre we'll be covering is jazz. A typical jazz ensemble will consist of stand-up bass, drums, piano, and a horn of some sort. Jazz ensembles can range greatly in terms of instrumentation. For example, harmonic instrumentalists like guitarists and piano players can play solo jazz gigs. Unfortunately, monophonic instruments won't cut it here because nobody wants to listen to solo trombone for three hours. The typical structure for jazz tunes follows this format head in, also known as the melody, then 10 minutes of people wailing and soloing, and then head out. 
There are mostly no lyrics when it comes to jazz. Improvisation makes up 80% of jazz, so if you butcher the melody or just straight up don't learn it, that's okay. Wrong notes are actually encouraged in this genre. To fit into the jazz community, here's what you need to do. Become exceptional at your instrument and only hang out with other musicians that are on your level. Be sure to shit on other genres like rock and metal for being too easy. Whenever a rock player tries to enter the jazz realm, be sure to give them the cold shoulder. This is known as vibing other musicians. Make sure to have a smug attitude about how jazz is superior to every other genre and it's the hardest to play, but be pissed off that nobody actually listens to it. Heroin is the drug of choice for many jazz musicians. If you'd like to check out some up and coming names in the jazz industry, consider checking out artists like Charles Parka, Kilometers Davis, Herb Hancoin, and East Montgomery. Hit us with a demo, Honest Brandon. I would love to. The next genre we'll be covering is classical. Like jazz, classical ensembles can range in terms of instrumentation. Signature instruments that can be found in classical music consists of tubular instruments, percussive instruments, jazz instruments, and different sized violins. Longer classical pieces are called symphonies and are often broken down into movements. Other types of classical pieces consist of concertos, sonatas, fugues, etudes, and a whole bunch of other shit. To fit into the classical community, here's what you need to do. Reach a virtuosic level on your instrument, but for some reason still be shit at improvising. Develop an elitist mindset that's similar to a jazz musician, despite the fact that nobody really listens to your genre, aside from students that are studying for tests and douchebags that just want to seem cultured. Be sure to shit on every other genre that isn't classical. And you know what else you need to do? Get off the fucking cigarettes and fuck up that like button. If you'd like to check out some up and coming names in the classical music industry, consider checking out artists like Hidden, Claude Debussy, Two Set Violin, and Botch. Honest Brandon. Let's hear some sick beats. I would love to. Next we'll discuss Neo Soul. What are the characteristics of Neo Soul? The instrumentation of Neo Soul usually consists of drums, bass, a synth of some sort, but the main feature is some guy on Instagram with his guitar. Wait a minute. Who the fuck is that guy? The beat should be emphasized very heavily and the tempo should not exceed 100 beats per minute. A neo soul piece will last no longer than 60 seconds and only features the guitar player and their ability to play 7th chords with arpeggios, Hendrix style double stops, and minor 9th chords that look like this. To fit into the neo soul community, consider being hipster as fuck. Instagram is your main platform, so make sure to always be posting there and engaging with other neo soul musicians. Emphasize how much you feel the music as much as you can. You've got to really let the audience know how badly you want to have sex with the music. If you'd like to check out some up and coming names in the neo soul industry, just head over to Instagram and type in guitarist. Guitar collection reveal at 250,000 subscribers. Honest Brandon, hit us with some neo soul bullshit. I don't want to. The next genre we'll be covering is country music. Yeehaw, bitch! 
What are the characteristics of country, you ask? Mainstream country ensembles have a very similar instrumentation to rock ensembles. Bass, drums, guitar, and a singer. But true country bands will have the presence of a banjo or fiddle player, not to be confused with a classical violinist. And the most important member of the ensemble is the washboard player. Country music song structure is almost identical to rock music structure. Just swap out the guitar solo for a banjo solo. When it comes to country music lyrics, there's an emphasis on working hard throughout the week but really looking forward to Friday night and a pair of jeans that fits just right. Be sure to write about drinking beer and your love for your church. Another key component in country music lyrics is whenever you have a word that ends in ing, make sure to omit the g. For example, pronouncing would then become pronouncing and drinking would become drinking, etc. To fit into the country music community, here's what you need to do. Work a trade job and live in a rural area. Have a family and a pickup truck. Make sure that the fridge is fully stocked with beer and whiskey for Friday nights and whenever the boys come over for a fire. You'll wanna start talking like this a lot more too. Always be wearing plaid and make sure to have a cowboy hat and boots for special occasions. If you'd like to check out some up and coming names in the country music industry, consider checking out artists like Garth Lakes, Early Tay Swifto, and Keith Rural. Honest Brandon. Hit us with one of them there shindigs. I would love to. The next genre we'll be covering is pop music. What are the characteristics of pop music? A typical pop ensemble consists of a laptop, a marketing expert, a team of background dancers, and a very attractive host. Unlike most genres, in pop music, talent is optional. Pop music also has a near identical structure to rock music, minus the guitar solo, which is probably why rock fans complain that anybody could write pop music. Despite their claims, the people saying these things rarely have any success at all in the music industry, even though apparently anyone can do it. If you want to be rich and famous, pop music is your best bet, but pop songs tend to have a very short shelf life, so make sure you have a team of people writing your music for you. That way you can focus more on your image. Have them repeat stuff to the point that anyone can sing along, even if they're only 30 seconds into the song and have never heard it before. To fit in with pop music fans, be a teenager with a short attention span. Be oblivious that other forms of music even exist. So much so that when somebody mentions a big name in another genre, you have absolutely zero fucking clue about who it is. If you'd like to check out some up and coming names in the pop music scene, consider checking out artists like The Weekdays, Ariana Petit, Billy English, and Justin Bieber. Honest Brandon, hit us with a formulaic pop song. I would love to. That's gonna be it for this video. But wait, tell us more about 52 week guitar player, Brandon. There are 56 modules with practice routines included so you don't have to figure out what to practice. Two live streams per week that happen through Zoom. Feedback is guaranteed and you'll be held accountable for your effort if you sign up to the weekly video challenge. And since you made it this far in the video, Christmas is still on. In the meantime, don't subscribe to my channel. In fact, you know what? Just, just leave, okay? I don't want you here.